A molecule of acetic acid consists of four hydrogen atoms, two carbon atoms, and two oxygen atoms. Which of these cannot possibly be the formula of acetic acid? A H four C two O two B H two C O C H two H three O two or D C H three C O O H The formula of a molecular compound reflects the composition of each molecule in the compound. Subscripts indicate how many atoms of each kind are present in the molecule. Choice A is obviously a correct formula. It has four hydrogen atoms, two carbon atoms, and two oxygen atoms. It doesn't have to be written this way. For example, it could be written as C2H4O2. The correct answer is B. It cannot be the formula for acetic acid because it has the wrong subscripts. What about choices C and D? Let's examine choice C. The sum of the subscripts for hydrogen is 4. The subscript for the first hydrogen is implied to be 1 and the subscript for the other hydrogen is 3. 1 plus 3 equals 4. The subscripts for carbon and oxygen are also correct. They're both 2. For choice D, the sum of the subscripts for hydrogen is 4. The first hydrogen has a subscript of 3 and the second has an implied subscript of 1. Both oxygens have an implied subscript of 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. In fact, the formulas in choices C and D are more commonly used to represent acetic acid. Formulas written like these tell us more than just the composition of the molecule. The formula in choice C is often used when referring to the compound's behavior as an acid. One thing acids have in common is that they have hydrogen atoms that can break off as hydrogen ions when the acid is dissolved in water. In the case of acetic acid, only one of the four hydrogen atoms can break off as a hydrogen ion in water. The formula in choice C represents the way the atoms are connected in the molecule. Here's CH3. Here's COOH. And here's the hydrogen atom. that can break off as a hydrogen ion when acetic acid is dissolved in water.